It is 636, and teachers around the nation say phones in the classroom are impacting student engagement, social development, and mental health. And now some are turning to a new option to become phone-free. Cola Whitney's now's Jade Ryan back with us, and one local school is currently using these special pouches. Yes, they are called Wander Pouches, and they are already used at Pinecrest Academy. And now the goal is helping students focus while in the classroom. The day starts with the morning announcement. There's nothing else in the bulletin for this morning, so finish strong, have a great day today, and if you could now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Then it's time for the phones to be put away. Guys, so I can see them. Let me see them, I can turn them off. Thank you, thank you. Awesome, let's get them in your pouches, you guys, and I'll come around, just make sure everything is locked up. The middle school students every morning have to put their phones and smart watches in the yonder pouches where they stay locked for the rest of the day. With each pouch costing about $20, the school says budgeting for this low-tech solution to a high-tech problem is worth it. The capacity to just have a, a pouch that students lock and a magnet is something that's relatively low-tech, uh, but so simple, and at the same time gives the students the autonomy of having their device. If a student has a special need where they need to quickly access their cell phone, they can get a different kind of pouch. I used to keep mine like this because I'm a type 1 diabetic and I have to be able to access my phone at all times and to be able to check my monitors. It was last summer when a team of parents, teachers, and administrators at Pinecrest Academy contacted Yonder to implement the cell phone pouch policy at the school. Certainly in the last five to ten years, um, the prevalence of smartphones and students having unlimited um, access to phones in the classroom has definitely posed a risk, not just um, for limited engagement in the classroom, but also just the mental distraction and students not really being present in the moment and engaged in learning. At first, when the policy went into place, students were a little skeptical, but now they have vocalized their appreciation. I think um, we're definitely focusing more because when kids were on their phones, it was such a distraction. And even though their phone pouches are locked up, they can still keep it in their backpacks. I feel like um, if I didn't have it and it got lost, I think I'd be a little bit more nervous about that. Pinecrest Academy says the Yonder Phone policy is here to stay. Now, the school did address emergency situations, saying it's important that uh, during an emergency that process of communication go through proper channels and the incident commander. But for personal emergencies, parents can call the front office to speak or deliver a message to their student, which actually parents do quite often. And if students need to call their parents, they can also go to the front office to get their phone unlocked. You know, Pinecrest Academy also saying, Becca and Dave, that they have really seen their students be more engaged in the classroom and, and students are vocalizing how how much they actually wish they had those who are in seventh eighth grade had the pouches earlier so that they could focus more on their studies and focus more on their friends and be present presence is always good yeah certainly a different world thanks a lot jade